Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about how to advertise in fall. It's different than spring, it's different than summer, it's just fall. So, if you're a window cleaner, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy the show. Lots of content to follow back. Seven years of doing this show, so find it anywhere podcasts are. So Podbean, Spotify, everywhere. And by the way, side note, if you haven't yet, leave it a review because why not? Super appreciate that. Um, I'll get into the shameless plug and who I am a little bit later. But let's dive in to advertising in fall because a lot of people are asking right now and we are kind of late for the first bit to advertise. So if you're thinking about doing some kind of advertising and just lost, now is the time I'm recording this or this is gonna air, I should say, the 20th, I believe, of September. Like now's the time, right? So if you're listening to this and you're like, yeah, I gotta do something, here's what I think that you should do. And remember, I'm just a dummy who sits in front of a camera and babbles. But remember, fall's different than spring. Fall's different than summer. Fall's just its own thing. Like in spring, there is no uh, end. Like spring goes into summer and you can always clean. But in fall, there's an end. Like especially if you're in a cold area, there's a certain point where it's like, yeah, we just don't clean anymore. Like we can't do gutters to a certain point. We can't do, you know, windows once it gets, you know, super, super cold. So it's kind of an end, which actually works for advertising. It works really, really well because it's a huge push and a sense of urgency. And that is the name of the game when it comes to fall. In spring, people are getting their brains into it. Oh my gosh, everything's great. They're starting to get outside. They're starting to look outside. They're starting to see flowers. That's what triggers them to look at the, get the windows done. In fall, you have to understand they're planning on the winter coming. Like winter is coming, the meme from years ago that was everywhere. It's the same thing, right? It cools down. Yes, like fall leaves, if you're in an area that has super bright leaves, it's cool. Like, oh man, look at it really getting out there. Ooh, it's chilly, I wanna stay warm inside. Like, yes, there is that reason. They're still looking outside, obviously, but they know that it's kind of getting in. They want to get it done before winter because they're going to hunker down for winter. Even in North Carolina, where I am now, there is a season. Now, it goes towards, I mean, I've done, you know, house washing on New Year's Eve. Uh, somebody had to get it done. But the season's still there. It still slows down a bit. You may be in a spot with um, snowbirds, which is cool. Um, your season's kind of different, Right? In fall, it's all about the sense of urgency. It's the sense of getting this thing done, getting it done now, getting it. What do you do and how do you tell people to get it done now? How do you create that sense of urgency? Now you can put coupons on there that have a expiration date. Those are good. I'm not as much of a fan of those because um, going into fall is you don't know when that time is to kind of block off, right? So if you're doing a Facebook ad or an EDDM even, this is works and I've done this before, is in the coupon you say, um, if you book by the end of the month, it doesn't say what month, but they get it and they just assume you're talking right to them. They don't understand that you've even printed it sooner than later. With Facebook, those ads, they're out there right now. Like you could do digital ads and have it by the end of the month because they're looking at it right now. They know the end of the month. You have to create that sense of urgency. And you have to understand why they're thinking about the sense of urgency, right? Like what does fall bring? What does winter then bring? And every area is a little bit different. Like when I was in Wisconsin, the goal was to get everybody done by Thanksgiving, and that was even a push because the week of Thanksgiving kind of had taken off. Um, if you know anything about Wisconsin, our rifle season for hunting is that week. It's only a one week, and it's you know they call it the widow's week, and 
it's a hunting thing. So we would have everything done by Thanksgiving that week because then everybody would have off that week to kind of um, do their thing or whatever. And that was our timing in Wisconsin. Now it's different in different places, right? Some of you go, oh, yeah, like the 15th of December is kind of where we really push to. But eventually it gets where people's brains aren't even in that. And they're like, well, I'm not going to get it done. It's going to snow. Okay, that's weird. Like, of course it's going to snow. It's going to rain too, but... Right, people make the excuses in their head. It's like car washes. And my wife is notorious for this one. But like, oh, are you going to get a car wash? No, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It's supposed to rain on Tuesday. I'm not getting... Like, of course, it's supposed to rain all the time. <laughs> got to keep the car clean. So once people get in that mindset, it's a done deal. It's the advertising and winter thing just doesn't work. That's why. It's because, you know, everybody is... Um, they already have their mindset. It's already been decided for them in their head that I can't do it because of XYZ. So we're trying to get that in. Sense of urgency is huge. In a sense of urgency, what works? Well, if you've already printed it, EDDM is big. Now, if you, for some reason, can do an EDDM today, get it done, have it printed and get to you, yes, technically you have some time, but you gotta like get it in the mail like in the next two weeks. Like It has to be out in the next week two weeks. You want to have it out. And that's going to be very, very tight. But EDDM works very well this time of year. I don't know in the paper advertising why that works so much better certain times of year. It's weird. It's like people get it in their hand and they kind of like connect with a piece differently where like, you know, EDDM sometimes works. Digital marketing works. Um, I mean, certain times of year kind of have different things, but I feel like fall always gets a bigger response with EDDM than even spring. Um, I don't know why that is. If I did, I would be rich and I'm not. So, you know, but it works. You got to get it out now. And everybody else, then they're like, well, okay, so I can't do EDDMs too late. What am I supposed to do? What can I do right now? I'm going to go door knock. Don't door knock. Don't door knock. What are you doing? That'd be like somebody coming to your door and being like, hey, I got a uh, Ferrari for you. You're like, what? I don't want a, what? I don't want a Ferrari. Yeah, cheap. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. You're like, what? Why is there? Why are you coming to my door? This is weird. Hey, uh, I can give you the Ferrari for a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's stolen. Something's, this is weird. You don't sell luxury services. You don't create a great business. You don't create repeat work from door knocking. I won't get into that. Go watch. There's a show. I did a whole episode about door knocking sucks. Watch if you want. That's on my own YouTube channel, by the way. It's just search Jersey Nation. If you didn't know, there's a YouTube channel for there. It, yeah. It's got like 750 subs. It's not very big because I never have time for that kind of content, but I'm trying to do more. I just posted a video the other day. Anyway, I digress. But in ads themselves, Facebook is going to be the instant thing. In Facebook, you're listening to this right now. Maybe you're in the field listening, which, by the way, if you're here or whatever, text me later and tell me where you listen or uh, jump on Facebook and like, share a link to the show and talk about where you listen. I just like to see where people listen. We have thousands of listens uh, every week. Thousands and thousands, and I don't know where everybody is. But anyway, Facebook ads, you could go back tonight and do a Facebook ad. You could build it and start it. Start it within an hour. It's launched tomorrow. Maybe give it 24 hours. You could do your first split test, continue to split test. You could even be split tested 10 times before really, you know, it starts to ramp up. That's the nice thing about Facebook ads. It's so instant. Changes are instant. Posting is instant. If you want to do something right this second, you can have an ad out within minutes. That's fantastic. That's crazy. That's the nice thing about Facebook ads. And people go, well, I don't, I don't have... A thousand dollars to spend. Well, you're not spending anything. You're investing it. Like if you just give them a thousand dollars and you don't get anything back, that then no, that doesn't make sense. But if you're looking for work, then yeah, you do have that because you're going to spend a thousand dollars, and once they're split tested and done right, you're going to get ten thousand dollars back. What? You do you want nine thousand dollars of work right now? If I just said that, you'd be like, yes, of course. 
Yeah, that's a lot of door knocking. Yeah, it's a lot of door knocking. But that's what ads are. Like, you have to do them right, but that's why we split test. Like, people who put ads out there and they're like, I don't know, it's been out there for a week, I haven't gotten anything. Because you did it wrong. Your ad sucks, obviously. The call to action sucks, the trigger sucks. You've done no split testing, you assume the one thing that you did, you put out and went, all right. Well, I'm so smart that I did it right on the first try and that's never happened in history. But there's so many people that do that. Even giant, multi-million dollar advertising agencies split test everything. They go to do a new ad, they get a whole room full of people to watch the ad and go, now how did that ad make you feel? And they pay those people to tell them their thoughts. And little old you who has no, you know, advertising experience for a Fortune 500 advertising company for Coca-Cola. Go out there and you put something and go, I don't know, Facebook ads don't work in my area. Or maybe your ad sucks. And before you get mad, which you can get mad, that's cool. I'm okay with that. But before you get mad, sometimes I say the truths that people are like, uh, like every week, like 10 times a week. People are like, dude, I swear you were talking to me on this one. Like, I didn't think of that. And, and it's awesome. I genuinely am amazed when you guys do that. It makes me feel so good. Um, so I really do love that. But I'm that way. I was that guy. Like, I just tried to do everything and didn't understand the split test thing. Until he started split testing things and it was like, oh, like after probably, oh gosh, it was probably a good nine months of split testing just Facebook ads, like really hardcore doing it, that I had an ad that was pumping money. Now, obviously in Wisconsin, January, I can't put an ad and have it pump money in. But any other time when the weather was better and I put ads out, it was throwing money my way. I had an ad that I made for gutter clean. By the way, I would love to share all this stuff with you, but I can't because I don't have it anymore. When I sold my company, that all went with it. But I had an ad that was for gutter cleaning. It was the most fantastic ad I've ever done and I got it to a point where that ad would literally give me like a 5% ROI in gutter cleaning. Now that means that if I sent it to 100 people, 5% of those 100 people would book appointment with me. And just on that ad, I've probably had probably half a dozen people message me just to tell me, they're like, hey, like, you know, I'm here or whatever, I'm visiting and if your ad popped up or whatever, I have nothing that I could do, but your ad is fantastic. This is amazing, I just wanna say, so good. This ad that I did, uh, I had a little, little girl that was like the customers, it ended up being a customer. And um, she had the ad hung up and like framed in her room. And it was part of the ad. There was a squirrel on this ad and it was, you know, adorable. And she cut it out and put it in this like frame thing. And I walked in and I was like, hey. And she's like, yeah, she loves that. Like that's the kind of impact that it has when you get something absolutely right. Now to, to make magic like that is so hard, but when you create something, you go, well, I really liked it. Of course you did, you, you made it. Like that's the worst thing we can do is they put this thing on and they go, hey, look at this thing, it's so good. Cause you spent hours on it and you show it to other people, they're like, oh. And you're like, oh, you don't get how hard I work. No, it doesn't matter how hard you work. If I can make something amazing and do it instantly, that's so much better than taking a long time. But in our heads, we're like, oh my God. And if you thought anything should be different, you would have made it differently. So there's nothing more toxic to a company is than not let somebody else see your stuff and not get like an actual opinion from other people. That's the hard part, right? And that's split testing. That's where Facebook ads come into play. They're so fast to do that. By the way, today's podcast is brought to you by me. Shameless plug of the day. My name is Jersey. I've been in the window cleaning industry for 20 years, but I uh, had my company for 16 years before I sold it. I've been with windowcleaner.com for 10 years, nine years. 
I've been a rep here for windowcleaner.com, the greatest place to buy window cleaning supplies, the largest place in the world to buy window cleaning supplies. We have the most inventory on hand, the fastest shipping, the most amazing staff. And I, I don't want to plug it anymore. But every one of you that buys from us is awesome. But everyone who buys through me, it's even more awesomer because I get credit for every uh, sale I put in and it costs you nothing extra to just be like, yo, Jersey, I saved my cart, put it in, bro, or whatever you're saying. I would love to do that. Put in your orders, uh, literally cost you nothing extra. I get credit for it. Plus, uh, you know, it makes me happy and I can live and eat. And if you've seen me, I like to eat, so. Thanks. Uh, my number direct is 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. Call me, please do, but I am on the phone, you know, 28 hours out of the 40 hour week. Um, so text me because texting is better and it's 2024, so text is way better. Also, you're listening, uh, or if you're on YouTube watching, a podcast about window cleaning, you are a window cleaning nerd like me. So please do me the greatest favor besides ordering from me, but do yourself an amazing favor by getting the American Window Cleaner magazine. It's awcmag.com. Literally a magazine comes to your door. It is filled with awesomeness and it is every single month you get an, uh, uh, an issue and it comes with a sticker sheet and um, there's really amazing things that launch, like in this episode, the Sorbo documentary, like the book, the bi bio bi biography for Sorbo. We finally got to talk about it. Um, it's been in the works for a very long time. He's finally bringing it to print. American Window Cleaner Magazine is the magazine that launched that news. So um, if you want to just be up to date, go there and get it. Okay, Seamus plug was super long. Sorry, back on it. So Facebook ads are instant. Facebook ads are very, very fast. Now Google AdWords, yes, those work too. Um, but Facebook ads in the targeting and the groups and the things is just so much more personable and kind of local with Facebook than anything. If you do TikTok, which I have a TikTok, and if you want to make fun of me, uh, definitely check that out. But the thing with TikTok is it's global. So you're not really advertising. You're putting it out there. Put content. It's great. Put content out on Instagram. It's great. Facebook is local for the most part. It can be global. I know. But you could really target in local. That's why I love Facebook. I know a lot of people aren't there, but your target market is. If you're young and you're like, I don't know anybody on Facebook, I know. But you also aren't selling window cleaning to any of your friends. Right? But that's the fast. The long term, and I always talk about this, and I want you to really genuinely understand the, the strength and severity of SEO. SEO is search engine optimization, but it is letting the interwebs be able to find you. And now, if you don't know what this is, and you have a website, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm first page of Google, Search in incognito mode and search for five different terms. Window cleaning near me. Window washing in XYZ town. Clean window. Search all the terms and see where you really pop up on everything. Because you've searched your company a whole bunch, so Google goes, ah, oh, he really likes it. If you're not in incognito mode and you're not searching multiple terms, it's not doing anything. SEO is the way that people find you. The best thing you can do with SEO is find somebody who actually makes sense, you can do a lot of stuff yourself. You can do a lot of it. It will never ever be as good as what a company can do, but companies are expensive. But the thing is, is that it takes time when you turn SEO on. So if you call Just a Monk SEO now and you're like, hey, I wanna do this, absolutely phenomenal, changing my business, boom, let's do it. And they're like, cool, let's start you up. Nothing changes in the first few days. SEO is a ongoing long-term thing. So we're like, okay, well, what are we doing for fall? Doing it now is the absolute best time because when spring comes, where you feel like light switch hits and things go crazy, your SEO is on point by then. 
Too many people are like, oh man, I'm making money. Maybe I should do some SEO. And then they stop it when they stop making money. Like over the winter, it's like the best time to do it is over the winter. SEO is continuing to rank behind the scenes to get you up so that when they do look for you, you're found. Now it does not do anything now. I will tell you that. It does not do anything now. But the biggest, the absolute biggest money-making thing you will ever do, paid. Everybody's like, oh, referrals. Yeah, it's not, that's, you don't control that, the referrals. The best paid thing you can ever do is SEO. If you find the right company, if you find a good company, if you hire a crappy, would you like to be on the first page of Google for $20? They're doing nothing. They're doing nothing and you're just being fooled into this crappy company that you're dealing with. And I've had a lot of crappy companies. So anyway, I always do the plug for, everybody's like, uh, who's the guy you're talking about for, for Monk SEO? But I mean, I've known those guys for a long time, but they have done actual stuff for me that's blown me away. I've had a lot of companies that have done nothing for me. And even when we look at the back, it's like they've done nothing and taken a bunch of my money. Nothing. People are like, oh, my SEO is our... There's so many, so many pieces to SEO. It's it, it's its own job. If you have somebody in-house, the SEO side has got to be its own entire thing. So SEO is very, very tricky. But getting SEO put into for now will absolutely help you come full. It will be the greatest thing you ever do for paid stuff. The dentist clothes will be the greatest thing you ever do to increase your business. And that's free. And that's, go back, watch the episode. Touch on the dentist clothes real quick. All it is is at the end of the, your job, you go, okay, great. Uh, everything looks good. We looked around, blah, 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 blah. And when did you want your next appointment? Uh, in three months or six months? Six months gets you to spring. That would be, uh, you know, uh, March 7th. It'd be an afternoon appointment again if that works for you. Or uh, it'd be uh, March uh, 8th would be at uh, between 8 and 9 in the morning, or I could do March 10th, which is a Friday, and that would be at about 1, between 1 and 2 in the afternoon. Which one works better? Like, the confidence on that side will change your absolute game. But if you don't do the dentist clothes, which I have not found anybody who's done the dentist clothes right and been confident that has not absolutely made more money. I know... Dozens and dozens of company running in the 90% of their work is repeat automatically. That means that spring is already almost booked because they're going through fall. Like, understand that concept. This is why door knocking doesn't work. This is under you guys are working so much harder than you should be when you're trying to sell somebody. Every time you get a customer, you're like, all right, cool, I gotta find another customer. Yeah, you're struggling that way because you don't have a repeat piece in that. Okay, I'm off my high horse on the repeat. I wasn't even going to go into the dentist clothes, but absolutely the biggest thing you can do to change your company that's absolutely free. But if you're not doing that, or your percentages are low, then the fall foam blast is critical for what you're doing. And you're like, oh, I don't want to bug people. No one. In all of the years I've done foam blasts for uh, my window cleaning company, I've had one person one time yell at me. And he called me back literally less than 10 minutes. I removed, hey, absolutely, sorry. No, we'll take you off the list. Oh, did you get my number? We've done cleaning for you past four years, you know, and we just didn't have you on this schedule, you know, blah, 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 blah. Cool, hung up. We'll remove him. Like eight minutes later, he calls me back. He's like, oh my gosh, this is XYZ window cleaning. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I got this. Uh, you're like the third call this morning and I was thinking it was telemarketing and I was just so frustrated. Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. I'm so absolutely sorry. Please, yeah, sign me up. We had, I knew that um, we were gonna be, uh, I forget what it was. I think it was the daughter was going to school so they didn't know what was happening. So that's why they didn't do the dentist close time. Whatever, he's like, oh, I'm so glad you called. That's it. In thousands of calls. Thousands of calls. Now, we ran admin and my admin office admin our office got us she would do the calls and it would be two weeks of calls every single day and then it got to the point where um there's follow-ups on that and it was every fall every spring we also did of course our postcards and our eddms and everything else but when we would do phone blast we would get so many people scheduled. You could book weeks of work by just calling your existing people who did it like six months ago. 
or longer and be like, hey, hey, Mrs. Jones is Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. We're putting together our fall schedule and I didn't see you on there. Figured I'd call and see uh, what uh, day of work works, what day of week works best for you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for calling. I forgot all about it. You know, we really do need something about. Great. Well, I have availability on uh, Tuesday the 7th. Uh, that would be between 9 and 10 a.m. Or I have Wednesday, and that would be between 1 and 2. Whatever your times are, whatever your slots are. But understand, I'm not asking yes or no. I'm giving them a decision of A or B. And that's in everything. Foam blast. Foam blast takes time. If you're out in the field, get out of the field. Unless you're owner operator and that's your thing, cool. But like, if there's not, then you need help doing that kind of it's thing. I totally cool. understand. There's so many pieces to that. And it takes a lot of time, but it will absolutely book your schedule. Even if you have 10 customers that you've done work for, this is your first year, call those 10. Hey, putting together a thing, I wanted to see if we could get you in before uh, fall here, and we had some availabilities. Be confident and assumptive close when you don't go, hey, I was wondering if you'd like to get your windows cleaned again. No, you're unsure. I'm not sure. You're not translating. We're not talking. Like, no. Be confident. Confidence in sales is absolutely incredible for the difference between a yes and a no, a booked and a not booked. When you're like, oh, I don't know. You know, we tried the, the dentist clothes. It just didn't work that well. Or, you know, yeah, like some people did. It was kind of awkward. You're doing it wrong. You're absolutely doing it wrong. Like, that's cool. You can do things wrong. People get so offended when you're like, hey, you just could be better at it. But that's exactly it. Fall blast, fall foam blast is just like spring. You should be calling everybody that didn't schedule or book. Again, you have to. Remember, spend as much, if not more, on the existing customers than getting new customers. New customers are more expensive to get, harder to get. You still got to build trust. It takes so much more time, effort, and money to get more customers when you could just take those existing customers and go. If you did, say the beginning half of this year was amazing. You're like, man, I love the second half. If you just had everybody do it every six months, you'd have the as, as an amazing spring as you are going to have for fall. But remember, there's other things that happen this time of year. This time of year, you get possibly gutter cleaning. Screen takedown. So a lot of people like want their screens. When you clean, take the screens down, put them in my garage. So I have better use that as a selling point. Sell gutter cleaning. Add value. Wait, well, hey, with every window cleaning, if you book right now, before the end of the month, we will clean your gutters for free. Everybody's like, that's so expensive. Oh, what, what time? How much time does that take you? Think about that. Add some kind of value to it. But gutters are something you advertise for. Should be its own advertisement. Christmas lights. Are you doing Christmas lights? If so, you should have started already. But if not, get those up now. The ads do so absolutely well. It brings joy to people. Think about what else is there. What else comes this time of year? And advertise. Remember, when somebody books with you, after they book. Okay, cool. You're on. We'll be there between this and this time on this date. Thank you so much. And just to let you know, we also do gutter cleaning. And uh, looking at your property, I could get there. We could do that extra gutter cleaning. It'd be $199 added to that. I know with fall and leaves and everything else, you're going to be right in that perfect sweet spot to keep them up. Is that something we can add on for you? You know what? Yeah, you're here. Let's do it. Just asking for the upsell. Asking for those things. If you have a bunch of people and their addresses because you've already done work, send them something only like a postcard, e, like a, a, a EDDM size postcard or an email. Just Christmas lights. Don't say, hey, we do window cleaning, pressure washing, Christmas lights, gutter cleaning. Then you do none of them. Like if you to bring a bunch of stuff, then you do none of them well. Put it out there. Understand what's happening this time of year. People are getting before the end of the year. There's certain things that have to happen. The fall is a great time to get stuff done. It's the second busiest time of the year, fall. Spring, fall, summer, winter, in that order, depending on where you are. If you're in, like, you know, southern Florida, it's a little bit different. Snowbirds and all. But snowbirds are coming back. 
real soon, so you got to get ready. Right? Right. Okay. Anyway. By the way, if you're watching or listening right now, um, yeah, I'm trying to get the my own personal YouTube back. If you guys have a free second, go and subscribe. Like, it would be awesome to just subscribe to my channel. It's like uh, Jersey Nation, something along those lines. You know, it's good. Uh, go and check that out. But I am a rep for windowcleaner.com and how I make my money to live and eat and feed my family and <laughs> buy hair gel that everybody always mentions is by putting orders in. And it costs you nothing extra. There's no surcharge. There's no weird anything. For me to put your order in, nothing. All it is for you is to instead of hit, you know, uh, check out, you hit save this cart. That's it. And you text me and be like, yo, it's in my cart, man. And then I get to do that for you. Uh, you make my entire day and I get a little uh, a little bite, a little taste of that. And uh, yeah, absolutely is amazing. So thank you again to everybody who lets me do that, by the way. And of course, get the American Window Cleaner magazine. I know I'm partial because I own the magazine. But this magazine is fantastic. I am so in love with paper magazines like in your hand and pictures and look at this like these are this is this is just the most current issue like if you're watching on youtube the the pictures and the layouts and the the everything it's like man it's so good to just see stuff to absorb it to get in this is our college you know go to awcmag.com it's just that's the website awc America Window Cleaner, M-A-G Magazine, dot com forward slash sub. Or just click on subscribe. 69 bucks, entire year. Get that and the sticker sheet every single month. And uh, that'd be absolutely awesome. So either way, it's fall, y'all. And I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Um, and I also hope you're going to have a brilliant fall. So go out there, advertise, get that cheddar. We're like... Um, squirrels, we gotta get it before the end. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.